Hi, welcome to my first video. I recorded myself painting um, and speeded it up for you. The original is about three hours long. Yeah, and I'd like to sh tell you a bit about my process. Since this is my, this is my first video, please be patient and excuse uh, the slight wobbliness of me trying to talk at you. Okay, so as you can see, I started off with the skin tones. Um, I gave them a uh, with very little pigment. I, I mixed myself a nice skin tone I liked and I I tried to put it on, on top fairly quickly. Um, first uh, just in one go and then after waiting for s a bit going into into the slightly darker parts and still on the wet paint um, give it a little bit more pigment. That makes nice um, that gives it nice smoothness and not it doesn't get blotchy that way um okay so and then i carried on with the uh, with sort of just dabbing um, layering green on top of the painting sort of to pull it together i had i wanted to give this all a warm woodland feeling and um in order to not have any white blinking through at me sort of just giving this all this green ha warm haze pulling it together I dabbed a lot of watercolor on it um, and in order to get it um, to have it dry quicker because it's of course it's really wet um, I took a blow dryer it's I don't know if I can recommend this but it works for me um, you just have to be a bit careful not to blow the color in the wrong direction okay so um, carrying on with with sort of just taking um putting on all the base colors of of the of the painting um i started off with the the tree in the background and at this point i already thought yay masking fluid that would that would be really cool here i never worked with masking fluid but i I think it would work here really well because of all the small details I'm painting around and since I want to work really quickly so the paint doesn't dry in order to get nice um, gradients, well, it, it's a bit more tricky this way. Um, I already ordered masking fluid and I'll try that sometime soon, but um, it works also without, it's just a bit harder. and. Yeah, and sometimes it does get a bit blotchy, but I actually like it in the tree because it gives it nice structures. So sort of I don't want it to, it to be all very um, plain, sort of just giving it a bit natural, happy accidents. And yeah, just um, that's what I think that's a bit what watercolor is about too. Um, just having g g go at where the where the colors just. just watching the colors also a bit reacting with the paper yeah still layering on the colors started off with the the green in the foreground of the, the leaves I mixed a, a, a warmish green for these I like and and uh, since I, I already give it gave started off with them in a bit deeper color than than the and the tree um well not really deeper but so sort of these i know that i want them to be a bit darker than than the, the ground um yeah mm. still layering it on top F fun fact to this pi mm -hmm. to this painting um i call it woodland feeling like a woodland goddess um, because I I drew a painting years and years ago, about probably ten years ago, of an actual woodland goddess, and this year was started off as an outfit drawing, and I I like to put my outfit drawings in a context where where I would think that this would fit. So I sort of it, it felt like a really n rather natural outfit. So I put it in the woods, and it sort of happened that it actually resembled ver a lot this very old painting. So of the actual woodland goddess. I might actually um, upload it to Instagram just to have the comparison of the, bo of the two. Mm. Yeah, okay. 
So I'm just still, still now give, giving the layering of the colors on, giving them a bit deeper, w working on the leaves of the, the tree crown. Um, here I find it, it it's good not to work too, it, it, it's good to work a bit messy, sort of like um, having slight little holes you leave uh, for that um, work as as if the light is coming through because leaves aren't, aren't solid it's just like hinting at the structure with that yeah. for the trees further back I mixed a new brown um, a bit which isn't a bit that as saturated and it's a bit grayer just sort of to give the can the painting a bit more depth still working really wet um, I always do that uh, I try to do that when I'm not working on the details that I I have very transparent and wet colors as because as I said it makes better um, better gradients and doesn't leave it all blotchy and stuff oh actually it, it's a pretty it just gives prettier structures if you sort of draw paint have the paint dried and you sort of want to get it matching that won't really work it, it, only if it's wet mm. painting on top then with a new new darkness that that on the other hand works then really well just not trying to get the same color matching at the point you'll always have a little line so that's why i recommend to draw to paint very wet when laying down the base colors. Mm. Yeah, for the for the jacket, I I mixed a little bit bluer green than for the uh, for the leaves, and since it's not a completely natural color, because it's 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 dyed, not as the the trees. So I thought I'd go in a bit blue, more bluish, and to have it a sort of pop bit more against the rest mm. with the hair which I start just started here I I will be having problems I had problems in this painting I I think I took a little bit too much color and and somehow it always works better when you you paint them do the pa the colors a bit softer from for the beginning because when there's too much pigment it's hard to layer more pigment on top so paint darker gets really hard because you sort of when you go on top you take color away when you you make it wet so you so here i should have done them a bit lighter you will see it later that i'll be be taking color away again and so um yeah the skirt was was a bit tricky it since it has tons of little flowers it's a floral skirt and i had just had a look at the skirt how it how the pattern really was of course it's a not exactly the same pattern but I, it, tr i'm trying to get the feeling of the skirt and it's a dark skirt with light flowers on top colorful white ones of it at the very end I just sort of filled in the darkness and left all the light I left were then were the light flowers the white flowers so I, I think that turned out quite nicely and worked really well but I didn't really know where I was headed with the pattern I just sort of gave it a go and I was really really afraid at that point whether it would work out because at the beginning it just looked blotchy and spotty <coughs> Yeah. Trying to get detail into the hair. Taking color away by accident, not liking that, painting completely on top, uh, removing the color. And sort of um, now with the hair at the same stage at the beginning, just with a little bit less pigment on top but that's the fun of watercolors you can actually remove it and start over just not too often because otherwise you'll ruin the paper at some point but now i have to wait for the hair to dry and i just 
work on the tree details now, sort of going with a darker color inside, painting structures. Um, when painting, always have a tissue handy. I dab my, my pen, my, my brush on it, or um, sometimes just dab water away, excess water away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, th I think at this point I don't paint as wet as I did at the beginning because I'm already in the detail stage. I mixed myself a, a brown with purple, which I'm now using to basically shade everything a little bit. Not only uh, in the tree, but also like in the details of the bag. It works quite nice as a, sh a shadow base tone. Um, I don't use it in the skin because I want to keep the, keep the skin very light, but in the hair it works as well. And some colors I don't mix then with the, the purple brown because then they I sort of feel I have a feeling that they will get a bit dirty. Um, I think in the in the jacket I just mix the darker green. It always depends. I sometimes I I vary that. Sometimes I I do just paint all over with with one shade and then I oh I, I t just take the darker color um, I think it depends on the brilliant brilliance of the color I want to achieve yeah giving the the skin a bit more depth at this point the darkness and that's where I just sort of picked a darker skin tone and not the purple I think it gives it a, it's, it's slightly more glow to it and with the purple I'm purple brown I also painted a little bit a, a bit of the the, the bottom the the the, uh, the floor <laughs> and and into the, into the leaves as well I think that works there nicely too Sc sort of sculpting a bit of the depth depth into the into the leaves yeah, basically now in the, in the detail stage, which I really enjoy doing. Mm. As for brushes, um, I find that I the brush I, I got here is, is probably not the best brush. I've already got myself a new one. This one is an old one, which I've just found in one of the boxes. Um, but it works. It's okay, but as I've sort of had a feeling that the that it's not that precise, but maybe it's just the watercolors themselves. I'm I've not been doing that much watercolors for um, as detailed work as this. I often do do them in a very quick manner, and um, I've been trying uh, trying stuff out now lately. Uh, but I still feel like I'm in the experimenting phase. And, but probably I'll, you you always feel that way. Just seeing what works for you. At least the the brush of the size five and six seems to be quite cool, and quite good because it has it sort of it works for the laying down the color and also for the details. Um, I got a bigger brush too that um, for size uh, ten and size three, but I I sort of think that one in between is actually the best because you can do both both parts with it mm. yeah so I started on the outlines sorry for my head in the video uh, that's when you start concentrating and going deeper and deeper into your paper since you're, you're working on the details I often got asked do you want to creep into your paper sort of I don't know it's a thing of concentration I don't know why I do it, it but my nose tip often nearly touches the paper when doing details. Mm. Yeah, with a little bit more patience and waiting till the hair dried, it it worked out better with with a with a darker tone on top and with the details. But I'm still not completely happy with the hair. Um, but they could have who could have worked out better. Mm. I did the eyes fairly late in this painting and they were worrying me all the way because 
if you, they're so impo such an impo important part of the painting and if they you get them wrong you sort of ruined everything I mean I could have gone in Photoshop and corrected them but still I, sh I actually think as like like the skin tone I should have started put them laid them down from the very start but it worked out so that's okay Yeah, basically for the outlines, this is the same with the, as with the dark colors, uh, for the for the uh, shadows. I just sort of take a darker, it's uh, with a dark brown or a dark green for the jacket. Um, I go in and give the give it all a slight fine outline, where I still think it needs to be a bit more defined. Mm -hmm. Trying to give it a bit more depth. weird to watch yourself painting and with the next video I'll try not to put my head that much into the screen but I can't promise anything <laughs> you always get into the zone while doing while painting and especially on the details mm -hmm. yeah, yeah now for some last depth Trying to get the the plants in the background a bit darker. Yeah, so post stuff under the vi post some questions under the video, maybe or tell me what I should do differently. I'm r really very new to this video business, um, and yeah. Let me know what you think. Yeah. Trying to get them now. At this point, I'm trying to get more darkness and more depth into it still by by darkening some of the plants, so that so this all gets a bit more yeah gets a bit more depth. Mm. And contrast. I always find it very hard to give watercolor contrast and I actually, um, as you'll see at the end, I mm, the, the, the last picture is one which is already bumped up a bit in Photoshop um, where I, I always um, just multiply the same layer of the, the watercolor drawing, set it to tw about 20% and then erase um, parts of the of the edges, sort of that you get the depth, most depth in the in the middle of the painting, and so that it pops more. Painting little leaves, and et voila, last thing, the signature. I always, I'm afraid to get that wrong too. Yeah, so you can see here the finished painting which already is bumped up a bit you know the details yeah thank you very much for watching I hope you liked the video as I said let me know in the comments what you thought uh, be gentle <laughs> um, and maybe uh, tell me what you'd like to see next or um, yeah I don't I can't promise anything I'll just have, have to see this is a lot of work so I will just have to see how I get a routine in doing this. But um, yeah, thank you for now and bye bye.